Now here is how we can lock your iPad while watching something, right? So let's get started and let's explain how it works because it very much depends on what exactly you are watching. For example, if I open up the Google Drive application uh, like that, you can see a bunch of different things are going on in here and I have some videos, for example, this one, it's called Emoji Movie, whatever that is. But if I play that, you can see that I can leave the um, like video player and then I can go to the control center and keep on playing that, right? So I could technically lock my iPad and keep on playing it through the control center. Even if I go to the multitasking panel right there, you can see, I mean, sorry, to the control center, you can see that I can play it and I have the video player and I can lock the iPad and just, you know, listen to the video or play it in the background while the iPad is locked. So for this type of videos, like for example, on the drive, it is okay, but then some other platforms may not support it. For example, YouTube uh, is great because they allow you to, to just play it. The requirement is the premium subscription, which I'm a big fan of, so I can only recommend it. But usually with the, of course, if you have the premium, you can just lock your iPad and make sure you have the video playing in the background and you can do whatever else you want. So it's very useful and I can only recommend you to get this uh, feature. Obviously, it's kind of important to make sure you go to the settings and uh, within the YouTube app, make sure that you go to the video playback and allow the picture and picture and this kind of stuff to work in the background. You have a dedicated background and the downloads. So we have the always on or with headphones or external external speakers. So even if you have the premium, you have to make sure you set it up the proper way so it works the best for you. But yeah, that's gonna be about it. Let me know below in the comments if there is any specific platform you had in mind because mostly you can lock your iPad and play the video from the control center or notification panel. So it depends on what you want. So let me know below if this video has helped you. Most definitely subscribe for more tips and guides like this one and I'll catch you in the later uploads.